gang, it's time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. Um, I know I've made a couple of videos here in the last couple of days. But as I said in my last video, I'm stuck here in Georgia for the weekend. And very little to do. Uh, I've gotten out and walked. I went out and walked this morning. Oh, my God. I figured I better get the walk in before the rain's coming because we got some serious rain coming down here. So I figured I'd get my walk in before the rain came. And uh, ended up stopping and having breakfast. <laughs> anyway, a um, couple things I want to touch on. First of all, this coronavirus. I mentioned in my last video that it's gotten out of hand. It's gotten way out of hand. They're closing down. They're, they're stopping trials because they can't bring the jury and all the people into the courtroom because of the virus. They're afraid somebody's going to get it. They're shutting down schools for like two, three weeks, some of them. Okay. Um, I don't know about the colleges. I know my, my daughter's school has been down a couple weeks because their electronics went down. I think I mentioned that in one of my videos, that their electronics went down. So they've been down for a couple weeks. Um, I need to do something about the light here. Does that help? No, oh, not really, does it? Let's see if this one helps. That makes it a little better. Anyway, now they have the coronavirus that's shutting things down. Look, folks, the percentage of people that are going to die from this disease compared to the number of people that are going to get it is very low. Okay? As I said in my last video, wash your hands. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here, let's do this. See this right here? Hand sanitizer. Now I saw a video where if you can't find this, okay, you can make your own. Rubbing alcohol and aloe. Mix it together. I'm not sure what the mixture was. You could probably look it up on the internet and check. You can make it. You can make your own. And the guy said, if worse comes to worse, take rubbing alcohol, put it in a spray bottle, spray your hands with it. Simple, okay? This will help. This will help prevent it. Okay? The other thing that will help prevent it, washing your hands. Soap and water. Okay? I remember when I was little, they used to tell us, uh, you know, when you wash your hand. My cameraman just fell. <laughs> when you wash your hands, you wash your hands and sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Or Happy Birthday. Okay? And then once you've, you know, lathered your hands and washed them while you were singing that song, then rinse them off. And I do it. I still do it. I'll sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I'm in the truck stop at the restaurant. My head, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little... I, sometimes I sing it out loud. <laughs> Just to see how many people look at me and go, that guy's nuts. Okay? Those things will prevent it. All right? Shutting down these schools. Shutting down these, these you know, the offices and, 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 and all this stuff. <laughs> Folks... As I said in my last video, if there's somebody that's going to get it, truck drivers, we drive all over the country. We are exposed to it everywhere. We go into a restroom. We, you know, I've been into this truck stop restroom several times. I, at the other truck stop that I was at before I moved over here um, yesterday, I was in and out of the restroom several times. Okay? You're grabbing a fuel pump to put fuel into your truck that somebody else just grabbed and they probably didn't wash their hands. Now, granted, I wear my gloves because I don't want the diesel fuel smell on my hands. But it's still there. There's still that chance. Okay? Now, I will give you this last tip and then we'll move on to my second thing. And I learned this from going through the CNA stuff with my wife. When you wash your hands, okay, wash your hands, get the paper towel, leave the water running, Okay, get the paper towel, dry your hands, then use the paper towel to shut the faucet off. 
Don't leave the faucet running and walk away. Okay, but leave it running while you're drying your hands and then use the paper towel to shut the faucet off so your hands don't come in direct contact with it. Simple. Now, some of these trucks, like this truck stop here, this Lowe's truck stop that I'm at, theirs are automatic. You put your hands underneath it, turns on. Take your hands away, turns off. Okay, so then you don't have to worry about it. But if you do have to turn it on and off with the handle, okay, turn it on with your hands. It ain't going to matter because you're going to wash them anyway. Okay, wash your hands, dry them off, and then take the paper towel that you just dried your hands off with and shut it off. Throw, throw the paper towel away. That simple. Okay? All right, now the other thing I wanted to talk about was <laughs> why don't people listen? You know, you, you tell people things and you tell them, look, here's what you need to do. Now, granted, is that, you know, we got a freedom in this country. You can do whatever you want. Um, what I don't like, and the reason why I brought this up, is because you tell people, here's what you need to do. And you lay it out for them. Boom, 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 boom. Here's what you need to do. They make their choice not to do that. Okay? Then later, they come back and blame you because they're in a predicament. If you'd have just done what I told you, you wouldn't be in this predicament. It's funny how people today tend to blame everybody else for their problems instead of blaming themselves. Okay? If you do something wrong, if you if you do something that puts you in a predicament, it's your fault. Okay, if I'm speeding down, if I'm going through a 60 zone doing 68 miles an hour and I get pulled over and get a ticket, that's not the truck driver's, that's not the truck's fault. It's not the company's fault. It's not the receiver's fault or the shipper's fault. It's my fault. I know what the speed limit is. I should be doing the speed limit. Now, that didn't happen, but I'm using that as an example. Okay, and, and, and for some people, it gets into bigger things. Okay. Hey, this is going on in my life, and it involves you as well. What should we do? Well, here's what you need to do. Since it involves you directly, and me kind of subdirectly, here's what you need to do. You need to do this, 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 and this. And that should take care of it. And then they just, they don't do that. They go and do their own thing. And then when it comes back and beats on them even harder, then they blame you. I told you what to do. You didn't listen to me. And why can't people just get along? I mean, really, why can't people just get along? Why can't why can't people just say, look, okay, I may not approve of your lifestyle. I may not approve of, of the way um, you choose to live your life, okay? But if that makes you happy, cool, okay? I may not approve of the way you do things. Like I said, the way you run your life, I may not, I may not approve of the way you do things. Um, I may not approve of the choices you make. But it doesn't make any difference. Okay? As long as it makes you happy, that's cool. Okay? Problem is, when I try and do that, and I, I do what makes me happy, people come back and tell me I'm wrong. Because I didn't do it their way. I was raised with that. My dad was that way. You did it his way or the highway. And I'm going to get a little personal here. But that's just the way it was in our house. Okay? We delivered papers. Some of you some of you that are watching my videos know that I delivered papers for years. Uh, from the time I was 11 till the time I was like 23 years old, 22, 23 years old, I delivered papers. And at one time, we were delivering a mailbox to mailbox. And my Uncle Charlie used to work with me. And we had a subdivision, Okay? You would go in here, and you would go, and there, there was a little cul-de-sac you had to go down, but it was U-shaped. You went in this way, and came around, and came out over here. Okay? That was the way to do it. Now, occasionally, especially in the wintertime, when it got too cold for my Uncle Charlie, I would do them. And I would go over here, and I'd start over here, and come up, and end out over here. Guess what? According to my dad, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. That's wrong. What difference did it make? Everybody got a paper? 
I did it because my uncle was freezing on the other side of the car. But that's just the way it was when I was growing up. Okay, and and a lot of people, a lot of people made fun of the, of the person that I was when I was in high school. But what they didn't see was they saw this. They didn't see what was behind the scenes. Okay, and that's that, folks. That's a whole other video. <laughs> Maybe I'll get into that someday, but not today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and get it put on for you. It's ten and a half minutes. It's going to take a while to load onto YouTube. So um, remember, like, comment, share this video. Let everybody know that Greg the Crazy Trucker is out there and he is creating havoc wherever he goes. Well, I haven't been the last couple of days. I've been sitting here in the parking lot. But anyway, you get the idea. All right. Remember, folks, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. That's going to help prevent the... the um, the virus, I, I, bird flu, Ebola, I keep getting all these different ones in my head. The coronavirus, that's going to help prevent it, okay? Um, don't stress. Don't run out to the store and buy all the toilet paper you can find. Don't run out to the store and buy all the hand sanitizer. Just get enough for you, okay? If That way, if you run out, guess what? There'll be more at the store. And until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya!